Alright guys, welcome back to Channel and episode number 26 of this Did You Know series as we take a look at 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K18. Did you know you can attack your opponent using Alexander Wolf's crowd taunt? Previously in the series, we covered how the new front handspring one taunt is listed in Create a Move Set as the only taunt in the game capable of dealing damage to an opponent, which led to a lot of people pointing out that you can also attack your opponent using the crowd taunt of Sanity's Alexander Wolf. Unlike the front handspring one taunt, however, whilst this taunt does connect with your opponent in multiple ways, including the strikes, the kick, and even the axe handle smash, it doesn't actually do any damage itself, despite the opponent reacting, as it only gets a visual response. Did you know that Cassius Ono's old NXT theme is featured in Universe Mode as the show theme for Raw's War 98? This year seen Cassius Ono make his debut in the series following his return to NXT, however something you might not know is that whilst Ono enters to his current theme music Heroes Welcome by Slayer 4 featuring Cody Beware, Ono's original NXT theme Flatlined by Modern Echo is also included in the game as this is included as the show theme for Raw's War 98 in Universe Mode. Did you know it's possible to use environmental carry attacks against the Minitron? This year in WWE 2K18, 2K added some brand new environmental attacks as part of the new carry system, allowing players to perform specific moves to ringside elements such as the barricade, the ring apron, ring post, the announce table and even the steel steps. However, Alex Gunson reveals one of the lesser known interactive elements you might not be aware of is that of the Minitron. Should you use the new carry system to lift your opponent next to it and then press square on PlayStation or X on Xbox, then you'll see your superstar drive their opponent into the Tron with various different animations depending on the carry position in use. Did you know it's possible to use the new apron pile driver as a table finisher? Previously on the channel, we covered all of the new moves included in the New Moves DLC pack, which featured some really cool and extreme moves such as the Apron Pile Driver. However, something you might not know is that not only can you use the Apron Pile Driver as a regular rope move, but Maddie Robinson reveals that 2K have now also added it to the list of available table finishers, meaning you can now use the Apron Pile Driver as a table finisher from the rope position. Did you know it's possible to use Elias's guitar as a weapon? When Elias was added to the game as part of the NXT Generation Pack, fans were disappointed in the fact that we couldn't use his guitar as a weapon despite guitars being featured in the series previously. For example, whenever a player tries to break out during Elias' entrance, you'll see him drop the guitar to the floor where it then fades away and classifies itself as obsolete. Now though, Oofload reveals a neat little trick that allows players to break out during Elias' entrance and keep the guitar, allowing you to use it as a weapon and deliver moves like this, or even climb the turnbuckle and show it off. To do this is really simple as all you need to do is wait until Elias lifts his guitar over the top rope, then as he jumps over, press X on PlayStation or A on Xbox which will cause Elias to break out of his entrance and should see the guitar glitch and stay in his hand where he can then use it whilst performing moves. Due to this being a glitch, it won't look perfect, especially depending on the moves that you perform whilst holding the guitar, however it can make for some pretty cool animations with the right moves. To stop the glitch, all you need to do is let your opponent strike or grapple you, at which point Elias will drop the guitar and it will fade away just like it would when breaking out normally. So there you go, that was 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K18, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did I would love it if you could drop it a like to show your support, as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features and if there's any other secrets, hints or easter eggs that you think I should cover. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Did You Know episodes and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, all that's left to be said is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.